Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fillet command in Rhino. And the fillet command is basically taking two lines and creating a curve between those lines. And I could show you how. So let's use the polyline command and let's draw a line that is going 10 feet north and 10 feet east. Now the fillet command, like I said, is going to round this corner off and we can specify the distance to whatever distance we want. So we're gonna type in fillet just like all the other commands, there's the second option command that comes up. But we're going to focus on the radius. And we're going to type R for the radius. And this can be whatever you want. If you have a specific radius or a specific dimension, this is where you can enter it. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use 48 inches or 4 feet. So I'm going to type in 4 feet, enter. And you can see that the mouse changes to, uh, does not have a cursor. So it's going to ask to select the first curve, which I will, and then it's going to ask the second curve. And when I click the second curve, you're going to see how it automatically changes the two lines into a curve. And you can see that it automatically deletes the permanent or the uh, existing lines here. Both of these lines are still joined, um, which is nice about the fillet command because now um, you can use the command offset to offset this line and you now have maybe a curved walkway or a curved corner to maybe a detail. 